Hello, Jennifer Tochi here, reviewing a movie that doing an 80s archive. And I've decided to do this one this week because I watched the movie. <laughs> and this poor piece of EHS, the cover, look at that. <laughs> I opened it to put the movie in <laughs> and this fell apart this sticker fell off please rewind tape <laughs> and guess what I didn't rewind it after I watched the movie yes and this good old sticker fell off of it <laughs> yes so time to get a fancy fancy schmancy one that you have to squeeze the sides to get out. Yes. Like my Beyond Therapy tape. Yes. The Jeff Goldblum Beyond Therapy. <laughs> this is a 1987 movie. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Michael J. Fox. Joan Jett. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And they play Joe and Patty Rasnick. Mm -hmm. We got Gina Rollins as their mother. Yes. Mm. Michael J. Fox and Joan Jett both shine in a powerful light, says. Roger Ebert. Uh -huh. And Bruce Springsteen says, I get a I got a little lost along the way, but I'm just around the corner to the light of day. And I like that little glare on Michael J. Fox there. Plays a tougher version of Michael J. Fox, I think, in this movie. Yes. He and Joan Jett plays a rather disturbed. And it this movie lets you know why she's disturbed in this movie. Her mother doesn't help either. Yeah. And she, Patty, is also a single mother. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And is running around in their band called the Bar Busters. Yes. Um, trying to be a rock star with her brother. Yes. And a couple of their friends. Yes. Mommy don't mommy of Joan Jett does not like that. Yes. And boy does she let her know through religious reflections and prayers. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. But Patty does not have such religious beliefs, I believe. And again. And that just opens up a big pile of bother for some people like me. <laughs> and also it doesn't help that Joan Jet slash Patty um is not very good with her five year old son, I don't think. Yes. Okay, it was the eighties. Yes, it was the eighties and our mamas our single mamas left us to go find friends or boyfriends. My mama left me to find friends. Because I guess I was the most horrible person in the world. 
don't know how I was, but here's Gilbert Godfrey. Make friends with him. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> see, this movie can kind of disturb those who have a little too much <clears throat> trauma in them. <laughs> but I think Michael J. Fox finds his voice in this movie. He is a rocking kind of music voice in this movie. Yes, he is. When he sings that that song at the end of the movie, it's like woohoo. Um, but the kind of problem I have between brother sister is they don't act like brother sister. You, <clears throat> I know they aren't really brother sister, but. <laughs> you can sure tell <laughs> at times like when they're playing like they got drunk and they have their arms around each other looking into each other's eyes they look like eh, 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 I want your sex <laughs> yeah the, 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 there's a little sexual energy between Joe Jett and Michael J. Fox and that I think in this movie <laughs> So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I do love the soundtrack to this movie. Um, Joan Jett at some point goes off to play with other bands, and they're great. Um, Michael J. Fox guitar playing in this and the drums in this movie is great. Yes. It's a rock and roll movie. I'm going to give it a 6.5. Yeah. Brought up a little too much trauma for me. Yeah. <laughs> Religious and parental. <laughs> but... It is not leaving my collection. And it's getting a better box. <laughs> we need a better box. Yes. And this miscolored thing is going in the garbage. Yes. And somehow the sticker is going to get back on the video. <laughs> Damn, this cover's in good shape. It was just the farting cover. Yes. So, everybody, have a nice night. Farewell.